Hi, everyone. My name is Phil Van Wettering, National Strategic Account Manager for Blue Earth Products. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule and attending our Cleaning Municipal and Commercial Water Infrastructure webinar. So who are we? Blue Earth Products is a specialty chemical manufacturing company with a full line of proprietary products specifically engineered to extend the operational life and efficiency of any water infrastructure by removing organic and inorganic contaminants. So what type of products do we have? We have advanced chemical cleaning solutions formulated to remove organic and inorganic deposits. We are NSF 60 approved, which makes it simple to use and cost effective. By the way, if we have any Canadian partners on the phone, uh, the NSF 60 approval in the United States will be honored by the Canadian government. Just a little bit of information I thought you'd like to know. Uh, the product works on any water infrastructure, and we have two types of products uh, to offer. One is the Floron product line, which is used offline, um, and the other one is our online product, Cleritas, which I'm going to discuss in the second half of this presentation. So for the first half of the presentation, I'm going to talk about more of the municipal side of cleaning, and then on the second half of the presentation, we're going to talk more about municipal and commercial applications. So this first product line we're going to discuss is Florin. What Florin is is a full suite of products formulated to rehabilitate all water treatment and storage infrastructures. By removing the organics, we can help reduce your chlorine demand, improve system performance, and extend the structural life of your your uh, your systems, such as pumps. You know, it's just less demand, less pressure that's being built up by removing that or organic buildup. Lastly, it works offline. And for those of you that don't um, know what offline means, is that we're isolating the filter, the storage tank, whatever, from your, your water system so that it cannot um, potentially leak into the, into the system or inject, be injected into the system. So it works offline. Floran products are used to clean tanks, basins, filters, filter media, air strippers. All of these infrastructures must be taken offline before they can be cleaned. So what products are in our Floran line? Well, this is actually where your Brentag salesperson would use their expertise to tell you which one to use, but I'm going to give you a quick overview of the, the product line. So filter fit is exactly what the name says. It's made for cleaning filter uh, walls. It's great at um, removing iron and manganese staining. CSR plus, CSR plus, it stands for calcium scale remover. Um, CSR is great for re removing calcium. So if you had a lot of calcium buildup on your walls or, or um, air, felt, uh, air strippers, uh, this would be a great solution. Media Master, by the way, the first two are liquids. Uh, Media Master is a granular solution. That's what we use for our media cleaning, which I'm going to discuss in detail later. And Media Master RR means it's recycle ready. It allows you to neutralize our product, uh, neutralize the, the water in the media and move it to the head of the plant again. The next product is a, uh, a granular product that has two components in it, the neck uh, end the catalyst. So it's a simple way of just uh, applying this over top of your media, adding a little bit of water, which I'm going to explain to you, and uh, it'll start the cleaning process in your filter. Top Ultra, this is our go-to product for cleaning tanks. No matter how small it is or how big it is, this is the product you would use. It'll just literally melt away the, the uh, buildup uh, inside your tank walls. Floran Biodegreaser, uh, this is a great Product. If let's say you had a diesel spill or something contaminating your water, you use this bio uh, degreaser and it removes it. And then the bio growth remover is a great spot application. Uh, let's say you have some organic buildup on on uh, somewhere in the plant, um, you can just spray this on and it removes the the bio growth that's uh, that's accumulating on that that uh, wall or application. So what can we do with the products I just mentioned? I always say a picture is worth a thousand words. So if you take a look at this picture in the upper left-hand corner where my laser is pointing, <clears throat> you can see the heavy uh, buildup of iron and manganese, heavily stained walls and troughs 
Here's the before and after. How about this middle one here? You can see the staining on the walls and the troughs. Before and after, it basically looks like new again. And then here, here's a, a, a filter that has heavy organic filled up right here. You can see the before and then the after. And I've had many a customer mention, wow, I didn't even know our troughs were green. So if you take a look, here's just another example of a filter wall cleaning, uh, a little bit closer up for you. If you take a look at the before picture, you can see the, the staining built up there, and then the one on the right, the after. Um, many, many water treatment plants are now doing uh, tours, especially for children, and uh, many a time the, the children will be like, ew, look at these walls and that. So. Uh, you know, for cosmetic reasons, for sure, you'd like to clean up the filter walls and make make your 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 facility look nicer. So once again, here's another great picture of a, a before, which is on the right, and then after. And as you can see, it's uh, it's night and day. The the picture on the the on the left literally looks like a brand new filter, and as you can see on the one on the right is heavily stained. So if uh, you'd like your filters to look like this, please pick up the phone and call Brentag. So the last uh, few slides have been, been about cleaning the filter walls themselves. But for you operators out there, let's discuss filtration issues. So what happens when your filter gets too dirty? Do you have any uh, mud balls developing? Is your media losing angularity, basically becoming rounded? Uh, any high effluent turbidity? Are you having shorter filter runs? Is uh, the media itself looking worn, like I said earlier, uh, rounded and, and heavily contaminated? If you're having any these issues, then we can absolutely help you. And I recommend you reaching out to your, your Brentag uh, salesperson for a demonstration. So let's discuss what's happening in your filter. Did you know your media will last forever if properly maintained? But the problem is most people don't realize this. 95% of my customers think you have to replace your media. They don't realize that you can clean it. But how do you clean it? Well, on the following slides, I'm going to show you how. So if the last few slides piqued your interest, I think you're really going to like what I'm about to tell you. So we have a lab in, in Kansas that can basically tell you exactly what's going on in your filter. Uh, they'll send you a complete detailed report based upon your media that you submitted to them. Very simple to do. All you have to do is reach out to your Brentag sales rep, uh, tell them that you'd like to have your media analyzed. They'll send you an email with the proper forms to fill out. It's uh, They list the step-by-step -step process of what we need, but it's simply sending your anthracite and sand to the lab. And two weeks later, voila, you'll have uh, a detailed report showing you everything that you need to know. But a few of the tests that they do is the media testing itself, the sieve analysis, ICP testing, cleaning efficiency, and acid solubility, just to name a few. So as I stated earlier, uh, your media will last forever, but we just want to make sure. So once you've submitted your media for testing, here's one of the tests that we do. It's called a sieve analysis. It just makes sure that your, your media is up to spec. And by the way, I don't know about you, but um, I live in the state of Pennsylvania, and our state now requires this media analysis on a yearly basis. So I think many other states are going to follow suit sh shortly, but it's a, it's a it's a re actually a good initiative because they're requiring uh, the water treatment plant to make sure they know what's happening with their with their uh, their media. Here's another part of the test. Here it's the ICP, and like I said earlier, um, it'll show you exactly what's building up on your media, both organic and inorganic. So another part of the test is what's called the cleaning efficiency. Uh, as you can see in the upper part of this is anthracite and sand cleaning. We're going to tell you exactly the recommended dosage um, that's required to clean your media, whether it be a 2x dose, a 4x dose, or a 6x. 
And what that means is two pounds per cubic foot uh, of whether it be Media Master or Next, the products I discussed earlier, that would be required to bring your media back to peak performance. So if you take a look on the left-hand side, you have uh, 2X would make it 41% for the anthracite, uh, 4X 76%, and then 6X would bring it back to 90%. Below is the sand cleaning efficiency, so that cleaned up very well with uh, a 2 or 4X cleaning. So here's the summary page from the report. If you take a look, it'll show you exactly how much um, weight will, will be removed from your system. You take a look at the forex dosage, we're removing almost 8,000 pounds of buildup for this customer. So this is a great way of finding out, again, what's going on and our recommended course of action to bring your media back to peak performance. So you've taken the initiative to order a media analysis. So what's next? After you get the report back, it'll tell you exactly what you need to do. So let's use an example that uh, the report states that you need a 4X Media Master uh, cleaning. So what you would do is the first thing is take your filter offline, making sure that your effluent seals, you would drain it completely. You would then broadcast the 4X um, media master over the entire media. You'd raise the water two inches above the uh, media and chemical, and then you'd add the catalyst. And then it's a waiting game. At that point, you'd let it uh, cook 24 to 48 hours. If you have air scours in your filter, we recommend bumping them every hour just to help not only mix the product, but it also pulls the product down into the under drains. And this is really very important. Uh, most people, when they, if they do a, a, a replacement of the media, they don't get the added benefit of the cleaning of the under drains and the, everything that our product comes into contact with. So even customers that have their media replaced, we still recommend cleaning the support gravel and the under drains. So again, a real advantage besides the cost savings is our, our ability to clean everything that our, our product comes in contact with. So after you've done, let's say it's uh, 24 hours later that you let the product cook, you would then backwash your, your uh, filter. You would somewhere along the line, whether it be just outside the troughs or in the pipes along the way or even the lagoon, you would neutralize our product. We recommend 30 minutes later to do another backwash and then simply put your system back online. So congratulations, you've taken the proper steps to bring your filter back to like new performance. These are typical results we see of the before and after. So on the left-hand side, the anthracite before and after, the middle sand before and after, and then on the right-hand side, the green sand before and after. Now, I wanted to bring something uh, to your attention that's very important. We can do a post-cleaning uh, analysis, and what that's going to do is give you a baseline for the future. So then if you'd like, a year from now, we would do another media analysis, and it would tell you exactly how much organic buildup that you have. Then we could recommend it might not need a cleaning, it might need a cleaning, but every plan is different. So we can customize a program for you to keep that filter media running like new. And then what we recommend is you take a proactive approach and add it to your maintenance or capital cost budget. And you can break it up either, let's say if you had six, six filters, do two, filter, two filters every year, or do all, three, all six filters three years later. But the report will tell you the exact timeline that we would recommend. So we've just discussed how to clean your filter media, but what about your tanks and basins? Did you know they represent the largest surface area in your system in most cases? Here are some before and after shots of our product in action. You can see these are heavily fouled. One of the things you gotta keep in mind, a lot of people like to clean their tanks with power washers. We do not recommend that. Not only will it damage the paint, but if they're concrete or masonry, it'll remove the grout. We've seen a tremendous amount of damage uh, done by pressure washers. 
we highly recommend using our chemical solution, which will literally melt them away, as you can see by these before and after pictures. I love doing a tank because we basically bring them back to like new condition very, very quickly. So here's some, some examples of tank cleaning results. You'll see a substantial um, chlorine residual increase and a chlorine demand decrease. So remember what I was telling you earlier that the, the uh, tanks have a substantial amount of surf, surface area and by removing that organics, you'll decrease your chlorine demand. So for those of you that have air strippers, most people don't realize that you can clean the media for the air strippers. Most of the time people will replace them. We can clean the entire system from top to bottom. Uh, here's some typical before and after results. So for those of you that don't know what an air stripper is, it basically removes the VOCs from groundwater. They become heavily stained. As you can see on this right-hand side, that's the typical uh, air stripper media it's a plastic type ball and they become fouled and with our product we can clean them to like new conditions again so csr plus low foam is what we normally use for cleaning air strippers we recommend you sending a, a few of those plastic media balls to our lab for analysis and in turn we'll tell you exactly how much of this product is required to clean it to like new condition again. So I'm hopeful you liked what I've been uh, telling you so far. You're very interested. You'd like to have a demonstration of this. Again, you can reach out to your uh, local Brentag salesperson and they can actually provide a demonstration right at your facility. So while your Brentag salesperson is giving a demonstration, you can ask them to clean your troughs. It's a simple process of just wetting the trough and or wall, spraying on our product and letting it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. And you'll see right before your eyes, it dissolved the staining and or buildup. Uh, after you're done, you rinse it off with a garden hose and voila, you're done. If you ever have your media removed, we still recommend you cleaning your under drains. Here's some wheel, wheeler under drains that have been cleaned by our product. You can obviously see the difference, but uh, before you put your media back into the filter, we recommend that you clean your under drains. I thought you'd like to see how we clean tanks. Same principle as filter fit for filter walls. You apply when wet, let it sit for 20, 30 minutes, Rinse it off with a garden hose, neutralize it, and send it to the sewer. So that concludes our Floran product line. We're going to now just start discussing our patented Clearitas. I'm This is by far my favorite product. It's actually amazing at what it's capable of doing. We make it for a variety of different markets. We have the 100 series, which is for municipal water applications. 200 series for cooling towers and chilled water systems, the 300 series for hospital and healthcare facilities, and then our 400 series for agricultural water distribution, food processing, bottling facilities, and other manufacturing industries. We make it in three different concentrates, a 1X, a 3X, and an 8X. The product is the ultimate at removing biofilm in your system. And I'm gonna explain in the following pages how it works. So what is Clearitas? Clearitas is an oxygenated chlorine molecule electrochemically bonded to a salt cluster. It basically, basically goes into the pipes and attacks the biofilm. It penetrates the polysaccharide layer, allowing chlorine to do its job. So for any of you that are doing chlorine burns in municipalities or have high biofilms in hospitals that you know of or, or any type of pipes, cooling towers, you name it, this is the ultimate product for removing biofilm. It goes in, penetrates the polysaccharide layer, allowing it to be released within the system. Now, by controlling the dosing rates of the Clearitas, we can control the amount of biofilm that's being removed. Now, again, you wouldn't want to take out too much in the case of a municipal water system. 
because then that, of course, is going to be released to the end user. So what you ultimately want to do is to do a very low dose and then work your way up slowly over time, and this will re and then institute a very, very aggressive flushing program. That would be for municipalities. But in the case of a hospital or a, um, you know, cooling towers, you can be quite a, uh, aggressive if you need to remove that bacteria quickly. So in the case of a Legionella remediation in a hospital, we would hit a, we'd hit it very hard in the beginning as long as the, the water is not being consumed. Take, uh, take that biofilm out of the system and then apply a very um, low dosage in the future to keep the biofilm at bay. So the nice part about Clearitas, it is an online application. So what that means is all you need is an injection point and a pump, and boom, you got Clearitas working to your advantage. It's available in five, 55, and 330 gallon containers. So what does Clearitas do? As I mentioned in the previous slide, if you're using a lot of chlorine, chlorine cannot penetrate the polysaccharide layer of biofilm. But if used in conjunction with Clearitas, it will. The Clearitas will penetrate the biofilm, allowing chlorine to do its job. So what's the benefits of removing the biofilm? Well, it'll extend your residuals, it'll improve your water quality, it'll reduce disinfectant demand, it'll reduce nitrifications, it'll reduce your DVTs, it'll give you better tasting water and reduced odor from the water. And the simple reason why is because once you remove the biofilm, there's nothing for the chlorine to interact with. So here's something I hope you remember from today's presentation. It's the interaction of chlorine with the polysaccharide layer of biofilm that causes your DBP issues. If you remove the biofilm, you remove the problem. Again, interaction of polysaccharide layer with chlorine causes your DBP problems. Remove the biofilm and you remove your problems. So you can expect substantial reductions in your DBP issues. And again, it's because it's the interaction of the polysaccharide layer with chlorine that causes this. So here's a, a case study of a customer of ours. We like to set expectations with you. It's, it's a, a, you start at a very low dose and you work your way up to a higher dose of our product, a maintenance dose as we call it. Once you get the biofilm under control, and you can tell that you're, you're you're winning the battle by your chlorine residuals going up. Once you see a increase in your, your chlorine residuals, you can start working your way down to a maintenance dose of our product. Typical results are uh, six to eight months before you see a, a chlorine residual increase. But I can tell you one thing, after a year, you'll have substantially cleaner uh, pipes in your system. Besides lowering your DBPs, you can expect reduced flushing times. Uh, this customer here per, uh, purchases water for their system. Since they've reduced their flushing time, they're saving $6,400 a year because they're purchasing less water. Ultimately, we reduce DBPs, reduce flushing times, and improve system performance with Clearitas. So here's another customer that saw substantially better residuals in their system. They literally doubled their chlorine residual. The nice part about Clearitas, it works well with chlorine or chloramine, so no problem. It also plays very well with phosphates. So if you're currently using phosphates in your system, you can continue to do so. As a matter of fact, it'll actually help you with corrosion control. By removing the biofilm, if you think about this, right on the back end of the biofilm, and then between that and the pipe, corrosion builds up in there. If you remove the biofilm, the phosphate can adhere to the pipes better and do its job. So the nice part of having increased chlorine residuals is that it actually 
you can actually then reduce your chlorine demand, right? By reducing the chlorine demand, you're going to have better tasting, less odor, and fewer DVPs in your system. So we like to tell everybody we can clean from the water treatment plant all the way to the end user. And I've explained how we clean at the water treatment plant, and, I understand, and now you understand how Clearitas can clean your pipes. But the added benefit, it also cleans the pipes in your customers' homes. So I can't tell you how many customers that we've spoken to that they were receiving less complaints and actually many, many more phone calls stating, wow, I don't know what you've done in your system, but the odor is gone and the water tastes better and there's less chlorine. So one of the added benefits of adding Claritas is improved water quality, which means less customer complaints. So this is one of my favorite case studies I like to talk about. It was with a customer that we had out west. They were having uh, severe issues in their system. They were ready to, to declare a, a state of emergency. Um, they could not get a, a chlorine residual at the end of their system. They had about 1,100 miles of pipes. They have um, seven chlorine booster stations, and uh, they were in a lot of trouble. They had uh, severe biofilm uh, buildup. So they contacted us, uh, asking us what, the, what we could do to help them. We went out and did an analysis, and of course we agreed they have uh, severe biofilm issues. We instituted two things. The first thing we did is we cleaned all their tanks. So the tanks, as I told you earlier, have a tremendous amount of surface area. You want to get that biofilm and organic buildup out of the system. After we cleaned every one of their tanks, we then started instituting Claritas, and we started off at a very low dosage, about two parts per million, and worked our way up to 20 parts per million over a 10-week time. And you do that again so that you're not releasing a lot of biofilm to the end user. We also, of course, instituted a very, very aggressive uh, flushing program. By doing this, we slowly removed the biofilm from their system, and if you take a look at these pictures, here's the before and after. So on the left-hand side, you can see the buildup of biofilm. And after about 10 months later, you can see their pipes were like new condition again. So besides getting uh, better tasting water, we were able to remove all their, their uh, DVP issues. We were able to, to more than double their chlorine residual. And here's the kicker. They had seven chlorine booster stations, a after those 10 months, we were able to shut off all of them. So again, Claritas is the ultimate biofilm remover for anybody that's interested. It'll, every single water treatment plant, every single water system in the world can benefit from Claritas. So in summary, if you're having the following issues, any of the following issues, if you have fouled media, if you have stained filter walls, if your storage tanks are in need of cleaning, if you have fouled air strippers, if you're having any type of DVP issues, if you have low chlorine residuals, if you have odor and or poor tasting water, if you have any type of bacteria issues such as Legionella, brain-eating amoebas, anything like that, any biofilm issues whatsoever, please call Brentag. We can help you with your problems. I want to thank everybody for their time, and we're going to open this up to a Q&A. Any questions?